Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I know I am posting this video way late, but I promise next week I'm going to start posting regularly on Mondays. And then as we get into August, it's probably gonna change to Saturday or Sunday, but I'll let you guys know when I make that change. If you don't know who I am and kind of what I'm about, my name is Caddy Rin. I will link all the other videos of my journey down below. So today I decided to talk about my experience with doing a no added sugar challenge. Did I follow it 110% to the T? No, but I'll talk about some of the things that I did do and some of the things that I think I do recommend when going to this challenge. But first, I'm doing a quick update. I haven't really necessarily lost any weight, but I was able to do some walking this week and mostly from doing some antique furniture shopping. In the last couple of days, I've really been hitting the grind and getting back at it and doing some Jillian Michaels Extreme Shed, Shed and Shred, which is causing me to be a little stiff. And if you're wondering, yes, I did wake up like this. So, hmm, I really, uh, my, my energy levels are kind of down low right now. I did not sleep well last night, so. But we're gonna get through this video. All right, so if you do not know what the added sugar challenge is, it is basically where you go an entire week, entire month, or some people who are even crazier and go an entire year with in eating things that don't have any added sugar in this. Basically, I think the most important thing to take away from this challenge is to be really good at reading labels of things, searching for the word sugar, dextrose, or glucose because all those are the same thing. Yes, dextrose, still sugar. How do I know this? I had to give a glucose tolerance test to sheep. What do we use? Dextrose. So, still sugar, still tasty. Not necessarily the greatest thing for you. And I think going on this journey, it caused me to, one, get a little annoyed with the dried fruit aspect of things because a lot of dried fruit adds sugar to it. And it caused me to also get a little bit annoyed at some of these protein shakes or some of these meal shakes because, or meal bars, because a lot of the time they have added sugar to them, which to me kind of, if you're giving something to somebody so that they'll I'll help them like lose weight, maybe giving them sugar is not the best thing. I think what kind of helped me with this challenge to where I wasn't necessarily craving a whole lot of sugar throughout this challenge is I have been kind of cutting back on my added sugar content for the last like month. So going into this challenge, it wasn't quite as hard for me as it probably would have been for and when I first started out. I think when I first started out, this challenge would be really rough on me and I don't even know <laughs> if I could have gotten through it quite as well as I did. Like I said, there were some hiccups, but I will talk about those. First things, I want to talk about some things that I kind of were surprised to have a lot of added sugar in them. One of those, and one of the reasons why I did not do this perfectly, is cranberries. Dried cranberries, no matter what you buy, unless there's some sort of magical brand out there that I didn't find in the grocery store. Um, I do use the local grocery store at HEB, but all the cranberries had sugar added to them. And these are reduced, the ones that I ended up using are reduced sugar. They have like 50% less sugar, but still it's sugar. And I don't know if any of you have ever had cranberries, but cranberries are pretty sweet in general. So it's kind of strange to me that you people feel the need to add sugar to them. And I'm looking at the dried fruit section. I noticed that in a lot of products, a lot of the times they add sugar to things. So you might think that you're eating something that's healthy, but you're actually not. You're actually eating something that's like got coated in sugar, like mangoes especially. One group that is really good about not adding sugar to their products is, and obviously like, I'm not sponsored by any of these things. I'm sorry, I'm not kidding things. I'm not sponsored by any of these things. Uh, obviously I don't have a huge following and so I'm not being sponsored. I just want to tell you guys about some different brands that I really like and that have stuff that I think is really good. One of these is the company Bear. Not so much these, these are not so good for you, but they are quite tasty. I did, I did have some of them. <laughs> but pretty much their only ingredient for most of their products is like dried banana, that's it. Dried apples, 
that's it. Maybe add some cinnamon, might add some cayenne pepper, but most of their stuff, it's very, very minimal ingredients, which I really appreciate. One thing that was kind of really surprising to me was we have products like Slim Fast. This is a lot of like what my dad will drink. And I kid you not, the first ingredient on here is sugar. Isn't this supposed to be for weight loss? And the first ingredient is sugar, which is crazy to me. Um, so if you do have Slim Fest and you're kind of like looking for a better alternative, I do recommend using these little iconic proteins. I honestly really like these. They taste good. Um, they have 20 grams of protein, three sugars, um, 130 calories. And if you are on Weight Watchers, these are only two points, which for a protein shake, it's pretty good. So I do recommend those. Um, they do have grass-fed milk protein in it, um, but they are lactose-free. So if you're lactose intolerant, these are pretty good. They also use a lot of organic ingredients in them if that's something that you're into. All right. Another thing that was kind of surprising to me was that a lot of tomato sauces, no matter what, whether they were organic or Newman's Own, which is my favorite, they have sugar added to them. Not a lot, but enough to where it's still not, it's, you still can't eat it if you're part of doing the diet. What I ended up doing was I just used a big can. I could do not, these cans are freaking huge. Like, not quite this big, but a little bit smaller than that. I used basically plain tomato sauce, which is from Hunt's, and then I added spices to it. Um, I you know I posted a picture of one of my meals on um, my Instagram and my Twitter. Basically, tomato sauce, add spices to it, paprika um, if you want to, but I added a little bit of cayenne, parsley, basil, oregano. Those are kind of like pepper, and those are kind of my go-to spices for things. And if you need to like lighten up the heat a little bit on stuff, always add salt to it. That will help with the taste. So I use those for my sauces and to help spice them up because plain tomato sauce is ugh. <laughs> it's fine on pizza when you have other things, but I can't, I can't just do like straight tomato sauce. No, thank you. My palate is more refined than that. It's not, but you know. And if you're not so into the dried fruit, you can always find canned fruit or obviously fresh fruit um, that has no added sugar to it. Obviously fruit does have fructose in it naturally, but that's more of a natural sugar that is a five carbon sugar rather than a six carbon sugar, which is what normal cane sugar is. Um, what you can also do is um, fat-free milk, no added sugar to it, it's just fortified. You can also get unsweetened almond milk, which has no added sugar to it, which I really greatly enjoy. I know some people might not like almond milk or soy milk or any of those, but if you are looking for kind of like a lighter calorie option than regular milk, or if you're lactose intolerant, I really do, or you're vegan, I really do recommend using those products because they actually taste pretty good once you get used to it. Um, you do have to get used to the taste of some of these things, but I think once you start lowering your cane sugar intake, you're able to really taste the flavor of things a lot better. Like eating fruit right now and eating vegetables has been like, so, like a lot more enjoyable to me because I'm not consuming like copious amounts of sugar all the time, so which has been great. I also found out that there are sugar-free desserts. So for 4th of July, I decided to make some. They've obviously mostly been eaten. I made sugar-free brownies. So there is an article that talks about the sugar-free brownies down below. Now she does say that you can add chocolate chips to the brownies. I did not do that because those obviously have sugar in them. Basically, your ingredients are unsweetened applesauce, um, unsweetened cocoa, um, vanilla, black beans, and you have some baking soda, as well as two eggs and a little bit of coffee, and that gets you some brownies. Are they super sweet? No. Oh, they also have dates in them. Dates are kind of basically allowing you to get sweetness out of the brownies, really. Um, especially, I can't remember the exact type of dates that we used, but if you do make these brownies, it recommends using either a food processor or a really high-powered blender. 
I would recommend using a food processor. I don't have one, so I was just using a blender from, I don't even know how old it is, but it's old. So <laughs> it did not work out that great. It took a very long time. I think I probably was making brownies for like an hour and a half. Um, it's just not powerful enough to, one, chop up the, get the dates, mix them with everything, along with doing the black beans. And then I actually ended up like hand mixing in the cocoa because I'm like, there's no way that the brunchers gonna be able to handle this. The mixture gets too thick. Um, so do be careful with that. I do recommend using a food processor, but the end result actually turned out pretty decent. So I'm not complaining. All right, I think that's everything I have. Uh, keep looking up because that's where it all is. Please watch all my other videos down below so you can learn more about me and who I am. And thank you so much for joining me once again on this crazy video. If you like me and you want to see more of these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this particular video, please like it. I'm going to be trying to put out videos every Monday, so please stay tuned for those. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye, guys.